Let's look inside a phaser unit and see how the TVCT works. Here's the phasers on an engine with the valve cover off. We can see one on the left, one on the right, and then we can see a drawing representation of the covers removed where we can see that star-like component where the oil presses on in order to rotate the cam positive or negative. So let's take one of these phasers and put it on a bench and remove that cover. Here we can see the phaser itself on the inside. We can see the housing on the outside, then we can see that star-like component where the oil is going to press on the left or the right side of that, advancing or retarding. Now we're looking right here and over here. Now this is a small area. When we rotate this this way, this gets larger, this gets smaller. And we do that by changing the oil pressure on this side or this side. Here we moved it a little bit and here we've moved it again. So as we go back and forth here we can see the cam that's connected to this unit can change to the advance or to the retarded position. We move once again. Now when we attempt to move again it won't go any further and that's because we can see a corrosion right here. Now when we go down here we can see the same amount of corrosion over here, here, and then here. What we're looking at is where the phaser itself can't go any further. It simply gets stuck. So it can move back and forth where the corrosion isn't. Where the corrosion is built up, we can't move the camshaft anymore. Now when we look at it this way, we can't even force it over on that corrosion. And if we force it over there, we can't get it back. So this is real life looking at what could happen in a service bay if the customer does not change their oil. Deposit gets built up, jamming, slowing, allowing the phaser not to do its job. So we look down there and that's where it's really built up. When we look at that in a highlighted area, we can see that we have oil deposits in there. They've overheated, burnt, and now the phaser isn't doing what it should be doing. Right here, the arrow's pointing to the seal or the rubbing block, and we can see some wear on it, but not much. When we look at that, if that wears out, we lose oil pressure to the phaser and then the only way you can repair this is replace the phaser. You can't service this rubbing block by itself. When we look at the rubbing block up here we can see that there's one on each part of that phaser. When we look in the lower left hand corner we can see the cover has that corrosion build up on it also and we hold it up and take a picture for you we can see that the corrosion has caused this phaser not to be able to move the camshaft to the commanded positions and this particular vehicle here had diagnostic trouble codes and it showed mode 6 failures which we will see later